I'm Scott Moray from the New York Botanical Garden. Here at a show at the Taft School, the name of the show is Michael Rothman, Fields and Forests Afar, a New York Botanical Garden scientific expedition through illustration. And now I would like to introduce Michael to talk about this particular painting, and later on we'll go to some other paintings. Hello, I'm Michael Rothman, and I'm a uh, freelance natural science illustrator. I've been working with uh, Scott for almost, uh, actually it's about 20 years now, and I've had the really great opportunity of working in French Guiana and in Brazil with him, including participating in a number of expeditions. And this particular painting here reflects part of the landscape of an area in French Guiana near the St. Elwha Creek. The scene simply depicts a bunch of these diurnal, very social animals chasing prey. But they will hunt larger animals such as tapirs. And they can hunt under, underwater also and will collect turtles as well. The animals are very, very interesting uh, because of their social structure, including shared parental care for the pups in communal dens. And essentially what this does is it depicts the environment in which these animals might be found. This actually is a depiction of what we think an adult female Hasigul might have looked like. And in this case, she is about to dismember something called a finch flightless duck. It is one of the other prey critters that the Hasigul probably took when it couldn't get enough moa or to supplement its normal diet of moa. And it's going to dismember it and start feeding it to its uh, fledgling mother. Here in a scene that was made for one of our curators that studies this palm, this is the Andean wax palm. The parrot you see here is the yellow, yellow-eared parrot. That parrot depends upon this Andean wax palm for its survival. It's only found where those wax palms are. And at the time this painting was made, there were only 81 of these parrots left. Now there are 1,000 that are left. We had a small part in their con uh, conservation because Michael's painting was used to make t-shirts, posters, etc. And an organization, a conservation organization in Colombia bought up the land and stuff that was, it was needed actually to protect these birds forever. I basically been a uh, science and natural science minister for about 25 years, um, including doing some stints for the New York Times science section and for Natural History magazine. But the reason that these paintings are actually here today is really attributable to Scott and Harold. Uh, in their capacity in association with the New York Botanical Gardens, they essentially functioned as patrons. Uh, some of you may have taken art history and heard that artists frequently, if not almost always, need someone to help pay the rent. It was wonderful to actually get paid for something I liked doing. Uh, how many of you guys are actually uh, interested in art or interested in science? I just want to see a show again. Art, science, combinations of the two. Good, good, good. Uh, one thing I've learned by doing all this stuff is, and the, the critical, probably the critical message I just want to say to any of you, and it, it really applies across the board, if you have a passion and you discover you really like something, you may as well pursue it because it's a real indication of what your path in life might be suitable uh, by doing. Maybe the best path you can follow, especially if you truly discover you love doing something and it actually provides a lot of satisfaction. I would say seriously consider pursuing it. 